Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, today we're going to talk about WordPress menu or DBT menu, either one. Menu is something that you use for navigation and you're on your website. Most of the time, where are these navigation plays comes down to your the team that you're using and different teams have different areas for their menus for the db team and uh, this area on top here i can highlight the whole thing so this area on top is the uh, navigation menu area okay so we're gonna figure out how to change all these pages yes on the navigation on the menu area so we, we are going to figure out how to edit this to make to put in the pages that we want to appear on our menu so how do we do this is firstly we need to go to our dashboard okay so now we are at the back end uh, of our wordpress dashboard and we're just gonna move over to appearance and it's over here it's labeled as menus now we click that and by default you do not have any menu so this is a by default this is by default so you're gonna create a menu name so we're gonna call it main nav short short form for navigation and we're gonna click create menu so this is where you place whatever you want to place here so you have a few choices right now so on the left you can include pages on your menu or you can include your posts on your menu you could even create a custom label for it or you could select your post categories and you could just put it inside the menu so we're gonna do it the simple way we're just gonna put our home uh, contact us and maybe put a page demo so we're going to add the menu okay, the difference between the difference from teams to team is this part here generally most of the time uh, certain teams have certain areas where they place their menu so for the DV team we have three options here which is the primary secondary and the footer so we're going to try putting up on the primary menu so we're going to check that anyway you could check all of it together if you want your menu to be everywhere so we're going to set it up on the primary menu first so we're going to save this and we're going to take a look at the difference so we included three pages here as you notice three pages that's the what do you call that <laughs> primary menu area yeah okay so um and then comes to how do we edit the labels of our menu let's say you want to change the names uh, i i don't want it to be home i want it to be something else so what we do is we move to the the item that we place here and we click the drop down arrows drop down my arrow and we change the navigation label the accent <laughs> okay uh i'm gonna change it to demo aim and move okay and contact us real soon something like that and i'm just gonna save it and the changes will be reflected simple enough very simple so what if we want to change the position let's say we want to put a contact us real soon in front and the dem demo and move in the middle we just move them sorry move them okay And there's the other question, uh, what, what, what happened just now? Okay, this was the sub-menu. So what is a sub-menu is the different tiers. Nah, nah. Words, words, picture speaks a thousand words, so we're going to 
See? So what usually uh, we do with this option is that let's say uh, we have a category here, for example, uh, just as an example, uh, we have uh, Photoshop learning or something like that. So this, this will be a blank link. And then we, we, we're going to stuff like, you know, like anything Photoshop learning related into that one area, into that label. And this all will be sub label. So you're just going to click save menu. And how it appears appear is so once people go to your website and they mouse over the Photoshop learning and they see the options which they click. I mean, this is an, an example, okay? Uh, okay, so we're gonna slightly elaborate further for the DVT menu location. So, what is the secondary menu and what is the footer menu? So, save menu. So the secondary secondary the secondary menu is uh, the one on top here. Usually, uh, what what we do here is basic. Most of the time, it's just uh, social links. And the footer menu is somewhere, not somewhere is here. So for the footer menu, one thing you need to understand is there's no sub menus, and footer menu is mostly where. We place our terms and conditions, privacy policy, this kind of area. And okay, the next question is, but what I'm doing is just I'm just using the main nav as an an example for all the three locations. So how how do I create a separate menu for that certain area? So we just create a new menu, just create this button, so not just click that button. And just create, give it a new name for it. Create menu, same thing. And we just put the pitch that we want to put. That's terms and condition. Okay, this is just an example. Okay. Then we're just going to highlight it as a footer menu. Going to refresh it. And there you have it. Okay, uh, last question is sidebar. How do we put a menu on our sidebar? Okay, for this, as you notice, there's no sidebar option here. So what we're going to do now is going to go to the widgets. And we're going to pick the custom menu. I'm going to put this back. <laughs> we're going to pick the custom menu widget and put it there. And we're going to select a menu that we want on our sidebar so so far we've created two menu so there's two menu options here just save it and we want to give it a title name maybe maybe you want to create a menu for a category or something like that uh, Photoshop stuff yep as you can see here uh, this is it So that's about it about WordPress. Oh, we forgot. Uh, where was it? Okay. So this is typically the DV team menu options. And as we said, it's almost the same for every other teams. The main difference is just that the menu locations. So we're going to take a look at 2015 a default theme. Let's take a look at the menu. Okay, as you can see here, the 2015 has only two locations for their menu, which is primary menu and their social links menu. So the process is the same. Just create a menu and just set on uh, put the pages in and set where you want it to be. That's about it. Thanks for watching, guys. Eamon Wolf signing off.